In this short video, we'll talk about what goes into the development of thunderstorms. All thunderstorms have four basic ingredients, moisture, lift, instability, and wind shear. We will go into a little more detail for each of these. First off, thunderstorms need a way for air particles to be lifted. Fronts, outflow boundaries from other storms, daytime heating, and the jet stream are all ways the air can be lifted. Thunderstorms also need a source of instability to form. Early in the morning, typically there will be a layer of warmer air aloft that we call a cap that su suppresses vertical motion. However, this cap gets eroded as the day goes on and surface temperatures rise. By afternoon, if the vertical motion can punch through what's left of the cap, or if the cap is completely eroded, then storms will begin to form. Extensive cloud cover can prevent this from happening, though. Wind shear is the change in wind speed and or direction with height. This is key for the development of severe thunderstorms. There are two types of shear. Speed shear occurs when wind speed increases with height, and directional shear occurs when the wind direction in changes with height. This is a basic way of imagining wind shear. Here, a hose is used to send water upward. If there is no wind shear, the water goes up and then back down. In a storm, the rain will be drawn into its own updraft and then come back down. However, if you apply a change in wind direction or wind speed, then the water in the hose will be blown off to the side. In a thunderstorm, wind shear separates the updraft and downdraft, which leads to longer lived storms. Here is a real life situation. In this storm, you can see an extensive rain area off to the right. The updraft is occurring to the left of it in what we call a rain free base. Wind shear is tilting the updraft as air rises, and then the rain comes down further away in an area called the downdraft. 